A supplement, like our seeing it, it might be your blank. I'm so stressed out about this intro. <laughs> We're only a few weeks into 2019, and there's already so much to be stressed out about. So it's no wonder that stress-relieving products are predicted to be a really big trend this year. Here's the thing, I am not a doctor. There's still a lot of research to be done to determine which of these ingredients are actually effective and which ones are worth spending your money on. So I can only speak to what I tried for this story, which was reporting on the trend. Another thing to remember about these products is that the placebo effect is super powerful. So if you believe that it will cure your anxiety and it works, it might not be because of the ingredients, it might be your brain tricking you. So there are a number of different ingredients that are reported to be stress alleviating. Some of them are herbal, some of them are amino acids. Uh, terpenes is something that you'll see showing up in some of these products. Terpenes are a compound that can be derived from cannabis, but they're not psychoactive. And there isn't really enough science yet to say exactly how they might work on anxiety. These terpene cookies say that they are calming and relaxing, but didn't actually really do anything for me. And not only that, they tasted terrible. They're like hard to bite. I would not recommend them. <laughs> Another thing that you might see in some of these products are herbal remedies, including adaptogenic mushrooms, which is what is in the spirit dust. It is a powder that's designed to be stirred into your morning coffee or into a smoothie. It smells pretty mushroomy, and quite frankly, I still had caffeine jitters after I put this in my coffee. Another thing you might be seeing in some of these products is CBD, which is a non-psychoactive compound that's found in cannabis. And the Sunday Scaries are CBD gummy bears. They also make a sublingual tincture that you can just drop directly under your tongue. This is one of those ones where I wasn't really sure. I felt a little bit better after trying the tincture version of it, but it might have just been the placebo effect. Another thing we tried were these Good Day Chocolates Calming Supplements. They're these little purple chocolates, candy coated, and the active ingredient in this is L-theanine, which works to increase your serotonin and dopamine, which supposedly gives you feelings of happiness and relaxation. Did that one do anything? Uh, no. Even if it doesn't work, they're actually a really tasty chocolate. And finally, we get to these calming drinks. They also feature L-theanine as their active ingredient. They all taste kind of like fruit punch. I tried them really not expecting them to work. And after I drank a can, I really did actually feel calmer. I felt sort of relaxed. My muscles didn't tense up as much. And so maybe they work, but also I think your mileage might vary. And as a reminder, again, the placebo effect is very real. And so am I still stressed out? Incredibly. Did any of these actually work? Who, who knows? I'm Maura Judkis, a reporter for The Washington Post. And next time, maybe I'll just have some chamomile tea.